Hi friends, this is Shiva. Welcome to database testing session 12. Today we are going to discuss about inner join with group by and having class. So this is what we are going to discuss today. Uh, please subscribe my channel before watching. So I have one scenario where we can apply inner join with group by and having class. So this is the my problem statement. Just I will explain with the uh, problem statement and I have uh, one example in my uh, Excel sheet so that I can show you. You will understand very easily the scenario. So identify the department which has a total salary greater than 15,000 and and display department ID, department name and a total salary for the same. So this is the my real st problem statement. I will show you here. So th uh, there are two tables actually, employee table and department table. And here <coughs> the thing is that I want to display employee ID along with, the, sorry, department ID along with the department name and the so total salary, right? So if you see here, um, department ID from in this table and a department name from the department table. So there is a common column between employee table with the department table is department ID. So wherever this department ID is matches with the department table, I can easily take the department name, right? So this is not a problem. But the thing is that I want to get the total salary for each department and the total salary should be greater than 50,000 15,000 right so what we need to do is first we need to create one logical table right so um, if you see here when, you, when we perform join between employee and department so this is the department ID and department ID so one and one is matching so the first department ID and the department name is administration right so we need to create a uh, record for each group so the second group is uh, department 2 right so the department 2 is marketing so first we need to segregate the each and every group right so the third group is purchasing we can uh, third group is uh, purchasing and fourth group is human resources and the fifth group is shipping right so i have segregated now five groups okay so what we need to do is we need to perform total salary for each group so the same way the oracle will do first it will group each department based on the department id so the department unit there is only one record if we perform sum of salary 4500 because there is only one record and when you perform sum of salary for the department 2 there are two records then sum of salary for department 3 and sum of salary for department 4 and sum of salary for department 5 okay so one part is over so now i have I got the one logical table and whatever the things we are having here so I am displaying now department ID department name based on the joining between uh, employee and department table with the joining condition of department ID equal to the department ID so I got this so now after this what we need to do is we need to group each and every every department so department ID one there is one department record so department two department three department four department five that's what they are saying so identify the department which has the total salary greater than 15,000 which means that which department has the uh, total salary of 15,000 right so which means that we need to group each department and we need to find the total salary for each department and we need to apply the condition it should be greater than 15,000 this is the last step so now you can find the uh, this one less than 15,000 it will be removed from the result set and this also this will be this is uh, greater than 15,000 so it will be there so other three departments like purchasing human resources and shipping will be removed from the department when the result set we will get finally only one record so this is what we need to do in the uh, logically so how we can write the query now first I will show you the two, two tables so select star from e employees first let me explain uh, let me show you the data so the same thing the same table but it has 40 records 
for explaining purpose i have uh, only small number of records like 5 to 10 records so here uh, the same thing employee id employee name so we are not going to focus all those things we are going to focus only on salary and department id so in this employee table there is no department name so for that for retrieving purpose the department name from the department table if you see uh, select star from departments so here there are uh, three columns now department id department name and location id so from this table we are going to retrieve department name so let me write one small simple uh, joint query to fetch this department id and department name alone so here uh, department uh, underscore id comma and department underscore name from the employees i'm giving some alias name employees and uh, departments d uh, where the condition is e dot department id right so department underscore id equal to d dot department underscore id so now when you execute this query you will get an issue why because there are two tables contain the same column when you see the employees table there will be a department id and when you see department table there will be one department id so from which table you want to take the department id so i want to take the em from employee table so if you give e dot department id so automatically it will take now if you execute this you will get uh, the result of only department id and department name so now i want to display sum of salary if you write sum of salary you will get an issue because when you are writing aggregate function along with the sum columns it will expect the group by class right so what basis you are going to group so i am going to group for example if you write a uh, group by group by the columns so why i am writing these two columns because when we are going to group uh, department id and department name so now this all the unique values will be grouped and based on these values the sum will be calculated so here we have group department id department name right so based on this group only we have calculated sum of salary so this is unique group and this also one unique group and this also one unique group like that so this is what also when you remove any one of the column also it will get confused because uh, it will expect the all the columns which is present in the select class so based on that only it will group so now you will get sum of salary for each department if you see executive salary administration public records so these are the departments and every department has some sum of salary so now i want to have one more condition over here having sum of uh, salary greater than for example i want to give 40000 the previous case i have given only 15000 so for limited records i want to give 40000 so now i am getting only five records also if you want to do order by so this is uh, execution uh, uh, time is at the last when you write order by so order by class will execute at the last so after getting the the result set it will sort so order by i want to give uh, department underscore department underscore id if i if you give ase it will give ascending order so 5 6 8 9 10 if you want to do descending order you can give descending order dfc right so by default it will take the ascending order so 5 6 8 9 10 10 you are getting the result so we performed a join between two tables to get department id and department name so here if you want to have one more table like uh, locations right so in the department table i will show you there's a column called the location id so here if you want to do select star from locations so when you execute this query you will get location id also so now there is a common column between uh, departments and location is location id so now i want to retrieve record so with the departments i want to show you the department location right uh, so for example i want to display city so now if you write the condition like uh, uh, d dot location id mm, 
location underscore id equal to the table name is um, location so l dot location underscore id so before i want to add that column comma locations l so now um, this is my condition d dot location id equal to l dot location id so again when you add the column in the select class when you use group by that column should comes here then only you will get the result right so like that you can add any number of columns over here so any number of tables any number of joining conditions and normal conditions also for example if you want to give one more filtering condition and um, department underscore id equal to 5 so now you will get only one record so department id from employee table right so you will get only one record so it's a filtering condition so this is joining condition and this is filtering condition so you should know the difference so now it will be filtered now right so while joining the condition while joining the table this condition also will be applied so now you will get only one record so the, this is what uh, you need to understand here right so this is what i want to show you here so today uh, we have learned about uh, how to implement inner join, inner join along with the group by and having right in next video i will show you one more difference in self join so uh, i hope you like this video so help others by subscribe like and share this video and thanks for watching